can change again, but this time do it uh, doing top down. So before we did it with DP um, bottom up, so using an array and filling it up. Here we're trying to do a memoization, a memoization technique. So we're just going top down and then we store the cache answers in a hash map or something like that. So just to uh, go over the question again, you're given a bunch of coins, um, coin denominations, and you can use any multiple of these numbers to make up um, an amount. And you want to find the minimum number of multiples you need. So in this case, we need two fives and one one. So that's three multiples. That's three coins. And I guess if you can't make that amount using the given coin denominations, return minus one. So how do we do this? Well, the idea is actually really the same uh, as bottom up. So we have a, we think about the sub problem because it's, um, we already know it's DP. So DP of I, what is that? Well, a sub problem could be a smaller amount. So it could be the, the answer for a smaller amount. Minimum number of four I. To, uh, to get i and then transition yeah transition could be um, dp of i that can be equal to some other answers that where i is where we have numbers less than i here so something less than i here so what would the transition be Well, it will be the answer for we try to get the the minimum value we need, um, and then for for a particular amount, and we just add one coin to that. But what coin can we add? Just all the denominations. So that can tell us if we're adding a single coin. That means we have to add, say, for example, here one, two, and five. That means the min value out of all out of some possible value should be i minus these these values. So i it's like it should be here i minus c, right? For all c in coins. That's the transition. All right, so let's try doing a top-down approach where we could just say deep dp return dp of amount and that will give us the answer so dp would be like a recursive function void and anyway, it should be returning an int and somewhere in here i need to recursively call db and takes in the amount a also need a way to ca cache my answer somewhere um, assuming nothing about the bounds oh yeah well coins can go up to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 so the max int we can't use an, an uh, use an array so we have to use a hash map uh, we can do unordered map let's put it here unordered map int int uh, let's call it M. Actually, what this is this is supposed to be called DP. And this is this most likely will be called coin change. Um, let's see. coin change. And ah, oh, I don't know. Can't come up with the name. CC vector of int. I need to pass in the coins as well. What should be in here? So just uh, essentially this thing here. But really the first, we haven't finished thinking about the problem. We also need to figure out what the base case is. So what's the, what's the base case? If there are zero coins, 
or if there are um yeah if there's zero coins the number of coins obviously will be zero like in this case if we end up having a less than zero then i probably want to turn minus one so i know that cc of zero should equal to zero i know that cc of something less than zero should be equal to minus one okay so let's do that if a is equal to zero turn zero if a is less than zero turn minus one And then we could do something like um, int my answer for this. Oh, before we do anything else, we have to check if the answer is already cached. So if the answer is cached, so we, we check um, auto it is equal to find dp.find. I'm trying to find the key, which would be a. If so, if it's not the end, if db.find a does not equal to db.end, um, that means there is already an answer for this. Let's return start it. So, like the no, actually, it's not start it. It is a pair uh, pointed to a pair. So basically, we have to do it second. Okay. So I've handled that. Uh, what else? We need to go through all the coins. So four. Four. Auto and C in coins. Let's um, do whatever this transition is saying here. But before we do that, let's let's make sure the answer starts off at um, so my answer, my result for this is equal to uh, say int max to start off with. It's initially int max, but yeah, that makes sense. So let's go through the coins and. Then I'll say result is equal to the min one, yeah, one plus min of the result and one plus the min, one plus the the cc of um, a minus a minus c. The problem is um, a minus C, this value here could return minus one. So we could store it in answer in um, in the next is equal to CC of a minus C if next not equal to minus one result is equal to min of one plus next now the thing is at this point here we could be potentially uh, have result still equal to int max if all of the of all these values return minus one, then result would never have been set to something lower than int max. So we could say if result is, so we just return uh, the re result equal to int max. Is it if it is it equal to int max? Return minus one. Otherwise, just return the result. So we'll see if that if that works. Um, too few arguments. All right, I need to pass in 
coins. And here as well. I can get I get three. Awesome. Awesome. Um so testing for this. How many coins to get one? Should be just one. What about for a zero case? How many coins to get zero given a zero coin? Oh, right. You can actually pass in any number here. Should be zero. Yes. Okay, let's just test the uh, wild, very strange case then. Uh, make sure there's no duplicates. Yes, and just do 1000. Oh, time limit exceeded. Oh, I see what the other. I see. Interesting. Hmm. Why? So someone was telling me about this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to set DP. DP to find. Um, so I want the result to be equal to this. Um, no, actually, I want to say if result is equal to int max, result is equal to minus one. Okay, and now what you can do is um, wait, wait, wait. Set set the, um, the DP. So DP of result should be equal to. Oh, so DP of A should be equal to result, and then return the result. Okay, that should be better. That was the most important step. Okay. Nice one. But you see, it's a, it's a lot slower than the than a bottom-up approach. But it still works. <laughs>